Orange at Utree Park. It's a Red Row estate. Um, it's in the Bersco area. It's four bedrooms and I'm just going to show you around because I know a lot of you want to see this show home and not have the luxury of having it locally. So I'm going to show you around this particular show home to give you an insight into what the Oxford looks like. So come with me. First we do have a really spacious hallway. This gorgeous archway mirror makes the space look so much bigger which is really clever by the interior designer which is a great hint for you to take home yourselves. Obviously the standard H&M dupe donut vase is fably placed here and I actually love this little silver as well. It'd be nice to have maybe like a little bench shoes on or for extra storage in your hallway or you could even do a console to cover the radiator because actually the placing of the radiator isn't all too bad. Obviously you've got a lovely staircase, fabulous carpet fittings and I also love this light as well. You can see here on this wall they've used a very nice textured wallpaper just to get that contrast against the wall but overall really really nice and spacious under here i think that might be the boiler cupboard i think that's actually locked so we can't go in there and then coming through here is the first room downstairs so actually downstairs does actually have two full-size rooms but i'll get to that it's obviously the living space it's a really big space as I know in a lot of show homes, you can be disappointed as to the size. So actually, this is a really spacious area. You have actually got a three-seater sofa here, and you've also got a two-seater sofa there. You could even put a corner couch here or there and create a cosy little reading nook for yourself there. And a nice TV. I think they should have put the television on the wall personally, but obviously with it being a show home, they tend not to do that, or even sometimes show homes don't even have televisions. Um, and again, because I've put a big rug here, but I mean, I'm just judging the interior design as well as the space. But it looks really, really nice. I kind of like the scheme, the colour scheme works well. Gorgeous spring pastel colours going into summer and spring. They could have maybe put a mirror over here on this side. Um, the artwork's lovely, don't get me wrong, but I think a mirror would have looked nice just again to open up that space. And if we come over here, gorgeous lamp. Now, isn't that a bit of me? A bit of marble character which we really like to see isn't that gorgeous i absolutely love that just some of the accessories are really really nice the artwork's gorgeous the windows are really 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 big gorgeous bay window and i love these curtains i love the way they have sewn these to make it look like it's a double curtain but it's actually not fireplace you can have as well i think these are optional extras and um, because they tend to have things like that and then i love these magazines styled with little vase so overall the design is really really nice so i'm gonna go through now through to the open plan kitchen and dining space here as i say it's a huge space it's literally but like because I feel like when you look on pictures you can't tell but like that is huge. Um, the finish on these cabinets are stunning. They remind me of the finish that I've actually just put in the studio. Um, just really, really nice. Simple and effective. I love the way you've got a window here and I like them doors. I do think now though, in like the modern day, I think bifolds would have been nicer. Um, the garden space, can't actually go through to that. It's nice but... I do think in show homes you don't tend to get an idea of how big the garden space is because you haven't got neighbours and by the time the fence is put up it's kind of just a with your house which sometimes is a bit disappointing. Um, but there's plenty of storage in the kitchen like that and I like the way they've actually done a contrast here. So they've gone from like an oak finish with gorgeous silver handles and that is just I think that's just a, a matte finish kind of thing but i really like the contrast i like the way they styled it it's so funny because so much of this stuff's from home sense it makes me laugh this is from home sense i think that's from our work there's bits over there i like that clock as well i look nice in my studio it's good to come to show homes just to get ideas even if you're not looking um for yourself um, you do have to book an appointment by the way i just want to add that if you are looking at any show homes we had to book a our appointment slot and then you can see the show homes that they have on the site which is really good um fab size sink i love the way they've put this pasta in here as well just nice styling ideas as i say to take home over here is the dining space which you've cleverly made obviously we're working from home now into a space you could work from look after garden it's a really really nice size you could even maybe have a high island here, put bar stools on it if you kind of want more of an edgier vibe as opposed to like a family space. You can literally change it however you wish. 
a nice console here, perfect for storage. A gorgeous style and pieces here, just to give you an idea of the space you're working with. And I love that light as well. Some gorgeous style in here, whoever the interior designer was, has done actually a really nice job. I really like it. Then if you come through to here, we've got a utility space. It's actually a really nice big space if you just shut that door. You've obviously got your dryer, your washer, and you've got an extra sink as well, which I feel like a lot of people are doing now. Saves having to go to the kitchen to need the sink in here. It's just perfect for the laun a laundry space. Um, and a few little incentives as to why you might need this space. You might have a pet, you might need it for your garden. And it's really clever the way they use interior design and give small snippets of ideas for anyone who wants to buy a house. We target anyone and given ideas for different types of home owners, which designers do cleverly, but anyway. Um, downstairs toilet, really, really like this. I really like this. I think that's a fab solution for a downstairs bathroom space. You've got a rail and storage for like, your hand soaps, or <laughs> your phone plants and things like that. I love this sink as well. Great use of space. The splash bath. I love this and the mirror's cute as well. But yeah, I really like these finishes. Nice space and there's also a window in this. Which is really good as well for lighting because sometimes in downstairs bathrooms you can struggle for lighting. Um, and obviously do not want to sit in the toilet, thank you. And I add as well, these doors are huge. Obviously they are fireproof doors, but they're really, really big compared to like your bog standard door. Right, so we're going to go up the stairs. So, I believe there's four bedrooms in the Oxford, so let's check them out. Firstly, when you get to the upper stairs, I would definitely put a big mirror there just to expand that space because this is huge. The, the landing, I was going to say hallway then, is massive, like look at that. So you've got your master bedroom, first bedroom, second bedroom and third, although I think that might be the second because that's much bigger. Obviously a toilet. And then I'm not sure what's in here. Oh, just a fire extinguisher and some wallpaper rolls. Nice. Um, yeah, so first off the bathroom. Love the finish on the floor. Nice little cow shed bits and pieces, which we love to see. Um, again, the fab splashback, which was very similar to the one we see in the downstairs um, bathroom as well. And by the way, about the mask situation, just whilst I'm here, um, obviously... The person who's come with me today we're in the same household so we don't need to wear a mask in the house we just need to wear it when we go back in to have a meeting with the fella who runs red row or is managing it today you know what i mean um but behind the door you've got your irradiator attached to the wall which i like better than obviously the floor ones these are just more convenient and especially just being tucked away behind the door doesn't take up too much space i love that as well that is from my work i bet that's tkmy I'm trying to hear away from my work. <laughs> um, again, a nice um, big window. And then you've obviously got a bath and shower. Um, a duo one as opposed to a freestanding bath and shower. That's the only problem. I feel like if you're buying a red row, I do kind of want a freestanding bath and a shower as opposed to double. And there'd be no way you'd be able to fit it to for a bathroom in this house. I don't think it's that big. No offence. Um okay let's go to the master bedroom okay so the master bedroom is huge i'm actually so surprised if you shut this door um because i feel like usually you're not really satisfied by a um new build style bedroom but i really really think this is gorgeous i love the autumnal warm colors that they've actually used in this room i love i just love the warmth of it and the contrast with these lamps how big are they they are gorgeous and more of an antique brass um, chandelier which is really really nice you've got obviously a dressing table if that's what you would like to use this space for it could literally be for anything that's just kind of an incentives you have actually got wardrobes in here which is really really good um, and the space inside is fairly big if you're obviously sharing this room you could have one each um, this certainly would have to all be for me, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I would have to convert another room into a walk-in wardrobe space. I don't think that's enough storage in a master bedroom, that's just my opinion. Um, and over here, obviously, you've got the bay window because below us is the living space. And then if you come through here, we have the downstairs. We don't have the downstairs in mine, we have the ensuite. <laughs> Why do I still think I'm downstairs? Um, this is a really nice sized ensuite. 
if anything, I feel like it's bigger than the actual family bathroom. And um, obviously, you got your toilet here. I love this little caddy with all the bits on. The sink, again, the consistency of the backsplash is there as well. And then you've just got a shower in this section, um, which is actually a really nice size. As I say, I think this is a very similar size to the actual family bathroom, which is mad. Um, but yeah, anyway, next room. I love the artwork, I love the texture in that. That's really nice, isn't it? So this this is actually quite a big size, you know? Like, oh my god, they're from my work. The designer has definitely been in home since. <laughs> it's a nice view to the garden as well. But this room's really nice. The only thing you've got to be careful on is show homes tend to very cleverly. Um, this looks like a double. It could be. I'd have to measure it to know. They always put in um, pre-made beds that are smaller to make the room look bigger. That's what they do very cleverly. Um, so this could literally be... This might not be a double. It's like it might even be a queen-size bed. Um, just so you think that the space is bigger. So when you're here, obviously, if you are purchasing it, just make sure you measure the room so you know what you can and can't fit in. And I like the way all the accents of furniture match finish-wise as well. This is obviously supposed to be like a young um, boys' room, which is a really nice idea and then if we walk through i really like to finish on these carpets there's another bedroom this is really spacious as well um that is from my work i literally just every time i come to show her i'm like that's from my work i just got a sticker with home sense on it just so everyone knows um i love the finish on these wardrobes it's a really really cute space obviously meant for a little girl the styling is just really really nice to be fair i can't really criticize the designer who's done it so far because i think it's really really lovely and then finally i think this is bedroom two to be honest with you um the second biggest to the master that's a beautiful art piece isn't it um yeah this is definitely this bedroom number two this has their own like little built-in wardrobes as well it's quite a nice size that again not big enough for me um i love the bed i love these cushions as well they paoletti they might be mightn't they um yeah i love the drawers there's loads of space i mean be able to put some artwork on a mirror on that back wall though and i like these drawer spaces as well plenty of storage and i think you could maximize that space so much more it's a really really decent size second bedroom now and I just love the finishes on it. I think it's really, really, really nice. So that is the tour of the Oxford home for Red Row. I was really impressed with it. It's a four bedroom home, as I say, in the Bersco area. So I will leave the link for that estate in my description box so you can have a little nose there is a virtual tour option i think but obviously i've gave you that so you don't even need to um i love doing things like this i love show homes and i love giving tours so if this is something you would like to see do let me know and um, the next show home that i'm actually going to is next door to this one um, and it's called the wellwin i think it's called and maybe that's my bad pronunciation so i'm going to be doing that show home tour on my next video so if you don't want to miss that make sure you are subscribed thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you on my next one bye